That was four years ago. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. High school Charlie, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> High school no. Smash Charlie. High school Smash. High school Smash dead, man. Everyone graduated. <laughs> Everyone's in college now. All right, we Except got Eon, right? He's still oh yeah, he's well, he's about to graduate. All right, we got Rosmakaz versus a Muffin from Mars, and Rosmakaz pulled a stitch like immediately, but didn't really use it. He just threw it away. <laughs> This matchup's I, I interesting. I think like, that's also one of the things I feel that's really hard for Peach and Pichu main. I'm sorry, Peach and Daisy mains. Like sometimes you really don't anticipate for the stitch. Yeah, you're not, you're you not planning. Like, yeah, you just buffer a throw yeah. or something. So you can't really count him up for going for it. Muffin from Mars, of course, pretty pretty good name uh, in terms of like Lucas mains. He's actually right. one of the best solo Lucas main here in SoCal. Here in SoCal, absolutely one of the first names you think of when you hear Lucas. And Roz, um, he's been around the block uh, in this game. I've seen him play. He's pretty impressive with Peach. And I've never seen this matchup before, actually. But Me it's, either. It's really interesting the way they're both playing it right now. Uh, Roz with a really good lead. He's dude. Muffin's been on the ledge for like the past like <laughs> for as long as I can remember in this match so far, dude. <laughs> he apps like wow. <laughs> it's really hard because usually I do see Muffin get used to tossing out, coming in with Zer, and right. then they go for immediate follow up there. But the way that Roz McCause is playing, he's going for a lot of the turnups, and then he immediately goes after because he knows that mm -hmm. Muffin doesn't feel safe. Right. Oh, got him with the parry, but didn't punish. I don't think he could have punished there. It was better for him not to commit to anything. Yeah. I like the way he turned himself around with the PK fire there. And Ross McCause right now, his ledge trapping and his, like, pressure, like, in the corner is looking clean. Yeah, it's so good. Clean, yeah. The way he uses the float, uh, like most peaches, uh, the, like most good peaches, using his float <laughs> to, to, like, maneuver, make you think that he's looking for your neutral getup, and re in reality, he, he's ready for your ledge, for your roll getup, right? Oh, here's but then he can react to both. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. no, and the minute he tries to go for the up B, Muffin wow. is right there waiting for him. Yo, I'm picking up Lucas. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, Lucas and Ness in this game feel just... There is, there's something in this game. I really like the way Lucas's hitboxes look. I like uh, like his his electricity, like the effects on his moves. And that was because of the latest, the, the, the previous patch actually. Because post-patch, Lucas did not have any of the electricity. Really? Yeah, and then after that patch, they actually added it in. Oh, the, the way they he hits. Yeah. But, like, the hitbox graphics have been there, right? Oh, uh, yeah. They, okay. they were. And pretty much even game right now. Sorry, back to the match. We've been talking about not the game. <laughs> <laughs> and right. Muffin spent most of, this t most of this match at the ledge or in the corner. Like, Ro Roz is controlling... His, like, he's pressuring him so well mm -hmm. and reacting to everything he does. And right now, Muffin's doing that right back. Like, exactly what Roz has been doing. <laughs> I like the fact that he went for a down smash, but he's trying to go for a neutral immediately after Roz McCaw just goes over him. Mm -hmm. oh, there's the PK Thunder setup, just trying to cheese him out there. He misses the opportunity for the uh, the Thunder Box to actually hit him back and probably get something. Dude, uh, Lucas is, um... He's scary. <laughs> yeah, he is. He, he's, as I'm telling you, man, he's something. I was going to say something else, but I, lo I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Uh, I, had to keep <laughs> I, I had to keep it PG, I was going to say. I feel that every time he wants to go for his air, Rosmakazi is literally right there with the turn up. Right there, he wants to go for his air. He tries mm -hmm. to stall himself. Turn up. Both these characters get edgeguarded hard in this oh. Wow! <laughs> he actually made that back. That was a really good angle by, uh, or, uh, I don't know, what do they call it? Angle? Oh my god. That was a really good angle by uh, <laughs> by uh, Muffin. Yeah, oh, and it's also because Lucas. like Lucas actually has the, the longest range. Right. Him and S. But at the same time, he couldn't even like he couldn't see the ball. Yeah, he was controlling. <laughs> I, well, actually, the one thing that helps you indicate is that there's a little nice. there's a little arrow that shows the direction you will be. Oh, really? Out. Yeah. Okay, I actually didn't know that. And uh, Muffin over there stealing out the stock with the he reacted to his air dodge in after the down tilt and he up tilted him and right now he has a really he has a really good lead a lot of rage. Lucas' yeah. rage is like one of the scariest characters in the game. Uh, he's Ooh. he's uh he's horrifying with rage to be honest. His kill throws get very scary. His co his combos. <laughs> Even then, like the way that we saw Shining play last night, it was like Zara carry is also as well. right. Like it's so scary, especially when he confirms one to the other. Mm -hmm. Forward air gets the down good air. Good punish. That was a really good punish yeah. in forward air. And Peach has really 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 good at his shield punishes. Like that's something uh. That's one of the main things that makes her so good. Yeah. <laughs> and they do a ton of damage because of her float as well. Almost wow. tries to get that forward immediately after he sees the option that Rosma... Uh, I lost. I'm sorry, Muffin had. Got from the platform. Good stuff for Muffin because Ooh. he anticipated that Rosma Kazi was going to go for a cross-up and then immediately had the forward tilt after he hit the Zare. Right. And wow. Oh, almost he he had that. He, he just mistimed the fair on the neutral, neutral get-up. That was such a good parry, but he didn't get a punish off of it. 
he probably just buffered the wrong thing. Because yeah. when, when you parry, it just buffers everything you do. <laughs> like, it buffers everything from the minute you parry. You the, I'm sorry, you see a little arrow that you saw earlier, right? It points the direction right. that he might be going, so that's one thing to anticipate. That was a really thing. risky PK Thunder. Yeah. I'm going to have Kahone's on him. There's the back throw there. Muffin right. finally with the ledge to play with. He used the PK Thunder to actually try to carry Rosalind. Muffin's in a really good spot. Down smash. I like it, though. I don't entirely agree with him going for a second uh, PK Thunder after the first one, because... He could have just like stopped it because he had no air dodge afterwards, yeah, right? He, he didn't, yeah, he, he already he wasted could, it. He could have dropped down, hit him. Mm -hmm. that's, that's also pretty risky if he misses. Mucha air. Solid option though. I would have anticipated following the forward air. But or a grab him. even. Yeah. Oh, that was... Oh, that was a sus DI. Either he didn't DI or bad DI, but it looked like no DI. It looked, yeah, I was going to say he shouldn't have died from that one. So, I like what you said earlier because, yes, he went for a second PK Thunder, but he com Razmakazi already committed to a directional air dodge. So right. that's Muffin's go time. That's your time right. to actually go in. Because your opponent's already put himself that far. Yeah. When your opponent has no air dodge, in your head you should be like, get him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get him. <laughs> when they're off stage with no air dodge, get him. Like, if it's the last stock, and you've practiced it enough, obviously. Yeah. And you're confident. You have to be confident because if you don't, you're going to choke. Get him, dude. Yeah. Go for a suicide dare, even. Like, something. Go hit him. <laughs> hit him. They're going to die. If, if he doesn't him. come back to the stage, that's all that matters at that point. Mm -hmm. Oh, and now you're still alive, of course. It's funny in this game because I realized that um, the knockback speed mm -hmm. makes suicide kills better off the side. So, like, in Smash 4, if Fox fastball back here, someone, he'll die first, even yeah. if they're a kill percent. In this game, they'll die first because the, the, they get knocked faster, right? The knockback yeah. is quicker. So suicide kills are uh, definitely more effective in this game on, in last stock situations because you won't die first usually. Well, game two here for Muffin and Rosmakazi. That was such a good follow up. Down dare. Throw. Good bear after that one. <laughs> Again with the dare. Pretty good option using Neutrino there for him because he knew that. Yeah, this hitbox is pretty decent. Right. And he's oh. actually able to power through the down air, so I. I feel like one thing that Muffin is doing, spot um, spot dodging so much, mm -hmm. that it allows Roz Mikazi to still actually call him right. on the spot dodge. And Roz, what he's doing is he's like jumping uh, like right next to Lucas, just short hopping, yeah. float, floating, and he covers one thing, right? And mm -hmm. he's reacting to pretty much everything else. So yeah. he'll cover like a jump from Lucas, and if he times his move right, that is. And if Lucas spot dodges, rolls, or does pretty much anything else, he has enough time to react and punish mm -hmm. it. And, and that's that's what I feel like Muffin is pulling like, the spot dodge trigger too much. Right. And wow, this is... I can't believe he lived. Like, he got knocked, like, twice already. <laughs> and he lived both times. Goodness. And right now, Muffin is... This is like... Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's very good Nair coming out from Roz. Float cancel Nair. Peach's float allows her to, like, cover so much. Wow. Was that... That didn't look like a combo, because earlier Roz was air dodging, but maybe that time he just pressed a button instead, mm -hmm. and uh, the bat just, or the stick just beats the button. It's a really interesting setup from Lucas, because down tilt, and then he either reacts to an air dodge, or throws out a move hoping to beat yours. Yeah. But you can also jump away, too, but he can also read that as well. All right, Roz went over the ledge. Wow, that was such a good, uh, uh, good counter to the, to the moving forward fair. Just can't hit it before it came out. Oh, one thing that Muffin has, has been telling me, he's been trying to use the tail from the Peaky Thunder to actually carry his opponents towards the sides. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I think he just wanted to reflect the turn. <laughs> yeah. Muffin had a really smart roll there, but Ross still covered it. That was still smart. Okay. And the forward tilt there, Muffin's opportunity here to probably get him with the PK Thunder. Yet again, I mentioned earlier, he's actually learning to carry his opponent. Wow, that... What? It wait went, a minute. It, wait it, a minute. Okay, so actually, it, the way that it has to connect is really specific. Uh -huh. So if it doesn't really connect that close to you, you will fall out of it. And even then, it doesn't kill until much higher percentage. I'm more surprised that the um, the Thunder kind of went through Roz, kind of? Yeah. And it hit him, and it like hit Lucas? It depends what portion of the Thunder. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And Lucas's Lucas's aerials like versus Peach, it would feel like Peach would win this matchup, right? Yeah. But then you remember Lucas's aerials have a lot of priority, a lot yeah. of range, a lot of damage, right? But you have to time them right, of course. You can't get the sour spots. And they're they're really good at calling out Peach's like uh, just reacting or calling out Peach's uh, neutral tools, mm -hmm. punish tools, uh, like her fair, because you know her fair, you know best tool she has has a lot of startup though. Oh no way! Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think being freeze in this game, it just yeets you to the blast zone. Murders you. It just <laughs> ends you. Like in Smash 4, it was like, okay, that's cute. And this sends game you was upwards, like, right? Yeah, it sends you upwards. Like, that's cute. And in this game, is just huge to the blast zone. Like. It's really strong. All right, Muffin taking that set 2-0 over Roz, or Roz Mikazi. 
Uh, good stuff to both players. It was definitely entertaining set to watch and commentate. Yeah. I like the way.